All right, man, welcome back to another video. As y'all seen in the title, we got these new lights right here that we gonna put in my scat pack today, you know what I'm saying? These are the L-Wire charger interior lights. Super customizable, they come in this box. Let's open it up, and then we're gonna put it right in the car. So we got the lights right here. <clears throat> we're just gonna use a screwdriver, cut it open. Take a look. If y'all haven't seen these, uh, definitely check it out on YouTube, man, because at first I wasn't really feeling the interior lights in the car, but after a few videos I've seen, man, it's uh, I think it's something really worth doing. As y'all see, man, we just got a little thank you letter from the company. We got a little manual. We don't really need that, I don't think. As y'all know, or if you don't know, you're going to stick the end of the light into this thing. And this is the light, the actual projection light part that gives the whole wire of those lights the light. You know what I'm saying? This is to put in a cigarette lighter of your car or wherever you have space to light it. Just a little cord. So... I'm gonna situate everything and then we gonna open up the car and get it going, man. So let's get All into right, it. man, so here we are. We got the car open real quick. These, like I said, are gonna be the lights that you put the strip in. I have no idea what this is. Um, oh, this might be for, yeah, this is the plug in. Let me tell y'all, man, this corner is probably gonna be the hardest part of putting it in. Um, if I get it past this, it should be smooth sailing. Um, cause honestly, I don't think anything else is harder than that. I've seen other people do this as well, man, but obviously before I started doing it and this is where they struggle the most. So hopefully if I get this part going, it'll be smooth sailing at the other parts and I'll get y'all of course a POV tonight of me setting it up. So let's get it. All right. So I know it really doesn't look like much, but this is literal progress. Cause this shit is like way, way harder than you guys would expect it. Let me put it in 0.5. But as y'all can see, I have made it past this corner. I'm using a little tool that came in the box. But I mean, if you got precious fingers, like you gonna have some fucked up hands after this. Um, this part's coming out a little, but I'll, I'll probably glue it or something. But honestly, as until I make it like right here, like right after this AC vent, it's smooth sailing. Man. It does take a while. This is one of those mods that you won't finish in five minutes. You know what I'm saying? This should take about an hour if I'm being honest. So what I plan on doing is I'm going to run it through here and at the bottom it connects. It'll connect right there to this black line, which I'm trying to route it through. And then from here, we'll just go up this and then through here. And then we're done. Um, really that easy. Um, honestly, I got through what I thought was the hardest part. Um, my fingers are like fucked up and everything, but... It's cool. It's going to be worth it. Um, I still need to find the app to control the lighting colors and everything. But uh, we do need to figure out these because this is what the light goes into. But that shouldn't be that hard, I think. But I just want to finish this real quick. Uh, the next time I pick up the camera, uh, it's going to be done everywhere right here. So don't try to worry about that. And let's just keep going, man. Almost done. All right, I know I said in the next clip I would be finished, but I kind of played myself. Uh, it didn't really come with direction, so I had to figure this out from watching YouTube. But you need to put this little wire inside of this. So I played myself, so I've just been routing it. Um, I literally only have like probably an inch left, but it's so hard because it's all curvy and tight. And like, look at my fingers, man. They're getting all like fucked up from the whole thing, but... You know, I'm literally an inch away, so I'm going to keep going, man, because I didn't do all this shit for nothing. So hopefully in the next clip, it looks wavy. All right. So as y'all see, man, it is not fully nighttime yet. Y'all can still see the sun and light coming through the garage, but this shit is still bright, hella bright. It looks super good, man. I'm not even going to lie. This shit looks crazy. I don't even know if I'm going to go out and get a drive POV for y'all tonight because this looks pretty good, man. All I have to do is just figure out what I'm going to do with the cables. I'm not too sure. I'm not going to do the door panels or anything. This is perfect for me, man. This looks super crazy. I'm not going to lie. Honestly, a really easy install. Let me turn the lights on real quick. Really easy install, man. All I had to do, uh, this little this little corner right here was the hardest part, if I'm being honest. So if y'all can get through this corner, it's fucking a walk through the park. You know what I'm saying? All right, so we're just coming back into the car, man. And I'm just going to show y'all how really easy this is. Uh, y'all can't even really see the wire, so let me open the door. 
all I had to do is take these little two wires right here. I stuck them up through the steering wheel. That's why you see these two right here. You have one right there for the left side. And then you have the other one right here, left side. They, they both go to the same place, but I feel like it's a better thing to just make it brighter. Also, I have this one right here for the little center console. Um, this one also is going under my seat. All three of them are just going to be right here, right into the glove box. And boom, you can't even tell that there's a cable in there. So it's really that easy, man. It does come with this tool, so don't stress if you don't have it. All right, doing a voiceover, but coming over here to the app, man, check it out. You see the color wheel. You see everything about the app. We're going to sort through all the colors. Look at all these options you got, man. Um, my favorite one is the seven color fade. I'm going to find it here in a second for y'all. This one is the best. Here we go. Seven color fade. This one looks crazy. As y'all look to the bottom, you can see me messing with the brightness and how fast it fades and everything. So that's a super good thing about this app. It is really easy to set up. It automatically connects to Bluetooth. So as you see, we got the schedule. The lights will react to your music if you want. I think that's awesome. So we're going to go over here and show y'all the color wheel. You can select any of the classic color choices or you can make your own on the little wheel. So I think that's dope, man. Like I said, you can fully customize the brightness and everything else about it. That's gonna do it for me, man. You can even see how bright they are with the garage light on. So one tip I do have for y'all when you're doing this install for real, you gotta make sure that you use this tool super good around this corner or else you will quit and you will be discouraged. So grab this tool before you do it and lead your path with the tool. So you wanna have your finger right here and this tool up here guiding your way through this corner while you're jamming it in because if you don't use this it's going to be damn near impossible so just trust my word and use this tool to your advantage man also for right here by the radio it is really tight but it is a lot easier to get the cord and the light in here than it is in that corner you will need to go through here with the yellow tool just one time around maybe two times around but that part was really easy Obviously, I could extend it to the door panels and stuff, but honestly, I think that's too much. I'm not going to do too much to my car. I think this is perfect. I think we got some good POV drives coming up in the future, man, for sure. So definitely let me know what y'all think about this mod. I'll put the Amazon link in the description. Definitely go cop. It was only like 30 bucks for real. But that's going to do it, man. I mean, y'all see the cable management and everything. It's literally three cables right here, man. That's all it is to it. Like I said, all you got to do is just feed two wires up underneath your steering wheel and then feed the third wire right in between your seat right here. And then they're all going to feed right into here. What I did with these two wires down here is I tucked them in right under here, kind of by the center. Push them in a little better. But that's all you got to do is just push them in. They're tucked under. Can't see it. And then boom, there you go, man. So that's really going to do it for this video. You will need scissors. If I didn't already state that, you will need scissors to cut your stuff uh, or a razor, but scissors is obviously a lot easier. So that's going to do it. I'll just show you all one more time how it looks, man. This turned out beautiful. Sorry if this video was a little choppy, a little inconsistent. I did have to take a break and do some stuff, but at the end of the day, we still got it done. Definitely let me know what y'all think about this mod down below. Give me the 3K the quick way. You know, my goal is to get to 10K by the end of this year. By any means, man, share this video with your friends. If you want to get this mod, I'll leave the link in the description. Like I said, if y'all want any more mod videos, I don't know if y'all can see me, but be sure to comment down below what mods y'all want to see to the channel, man. But that's going to do it for this video, man. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.